Yo, what is up guys? It's your Bobo Tricks here. Back we yet another banger. We got some Ceram Crucible boost only, so let's hop right in today's video. If you guys are new to the channel or are a recent viewer of mine, please consider clicking that subscribe button because only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. And remember, subscribing is 100% free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. See, Pern 22 is gonna be our first opponent, dude. I know we're in Ceram Crucible once again. I just decided to pre-record a lot of videos and still the highest arena as of right now, it's Rima Crucible, okay? But we're gonna make things work out here, boys. We got them have Marsh, actually. Dude, I wanna go and meme late game strategy, man, okay? So we're gonna be going the ultra late game strategy. Glue, Village Ice, let's freaking go. Wait, wait a minute, guys. Look, look at my four tower. We literally got the dream team. The dream team meme late game strategy, all right? Let's freaking go, man. I'm actually feeling so hyped. I think for this one time, boys, I think it's going to be acceptable for us to use our four tower because dude, this is the dream team meme team, bro. This is freaking awesome, man. I'm actually so hyped for this now, all right? So right at the start of round two, you guys already know, we're gonna be sending the young man constant freaking reds, okay? He's gonna have to go for eventually a lightning um, and he's currently not sending us, oh, okay, that's why C Pern is going to be farming on this map. Not a bad call, all right? But dude, this is in fact a late game map in my opinion, okay? And as long as we make it through the mid game rounds, I think we have a great shot of going pretty late with this strategy, all right? Because, dude, Dream Team, Meme Team is not freaking weak at all, man. Not at all. Do not underestimate this strategy, boys. Okay, so we're just going to continue on with these reds. He has to go for the lightning. There he finally goes for that. If he wants to, he could send us some space pinks at the sort of round four. Okay, but hopefully he does not do that. I could either go for a spike factory in the back of the map, or I could go for a glue to help slow down the balloons, all right? But looks like so far... We are, in fact, chilling, so that's good, all right? So, yeah, I'm just going to chill, I guess, then uh, with this ice tower because, honestly, I think we're going to be good. And, dude, our eco is so good so far, man. And, yeah, C Pern just wants to continue on with his farm game. Nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that, okay? So, I guess we could probably then go for zero zero glue, okay, just to help our ice tower out a little bit, stall the balloons a little bit for it. Oh, yeah, and, like, once it's glued, it can still be frozen down, so... That's good. That's really, really good, all right? But he might show some aggression here on round six with some space blacks if he does. Um, actually, our ice tower should be able to handle that for the most part, all right? So I am feeling good, man. He's gonna have to upgrade, by the way. I already know the wizard. For some reason, lightning wizard cannot defend against constant greens. I don't know why. It doesn't really make too much sense to me, to be honest with y'all. I'm gonna go for the corrosive glue, by the way, just so some of those balloons actually pop down. But yeah, look at his screen right now, boys. He has to go for another wizard. That, that's just insane to me, man. And this is a pretty long map, too. And Seapern is still going to end up leaking a few lives here and there. Oh, no. He did not need a tower boost. I don't think he needed to do that, all right? But he's probably not happy. He is probably not happy. So we're going to stop right here. 556 eco. Dude, the meme team, dream team, we don't mess around. We don't mess around with this strategy, boys. Okay, so I'm going to try, try to go uh, for this village here, all right? But... You never know what he's going to do here on this round, okay? But I want to get it affecting both of these towers. And looks like right here, looks like a pretty good position. Yes, it is. I also went for the monkey forder, right? We're going to be leaking a few lives here and there uh, to the AI. And oh, this is my biggest fear, boys. He's sending us the space whites, the dreaded space whites, boys. Okay, so I might just, hmm, what should I do here? Should I go for a glue? I actually just upgraded my spike factory in the back of the map. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to end up boosting this then. That That's just... That's rude, man. That's just rude, bro. Holy... Okay, that's a lot. He's still sending. Are you serious? Are you serious, dog? I'm going to go for a glue hose then, okay? How about that? That should help us out against all of these freaking whites because, my goodness, was he aggressive right there. He, in fact, was... Uh, we didn't really need that ice, like, at that point in time, okay? So, hopefully, we should be good against all of this. Dude, he could all at us here around 13, too, so... Definitely got to watch out for that. I'm hoping, though. I'm really hoping he doesn't. Please don't. Please don't. We don't need to technically go for the radar scanner just yet on our village because we have that spike factory in the back of the map. Uh, so we're going to see what happens here, right? Please just don't all at me. That would be not fun, man. That would be not fun. So far, it looks like we're good. Oh, my God. He wants to go a little bit later with us. I appreciate you, C-Pern. Let's freaking go, man. This glue hose, by the way, is not going to be good when it comes to defending against all this AI, right? So 
I'm going to have to replace it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He still only has two plantations, by the way, on his side, which is, like, kind of scaring me low-key. Um, so, I don't, like, know what to do. I, I'm just space sequence for now, I guess. Uh, but I honestly think we'd have enough money to upgrade this school a little bit more. So, I'm going to do that on the left side instead. Set that to strong. And that should help us out way more when it comes to AI and whatnot, all right? We could sell this to, if worse comes to worse, to upgrade to a Bloom Liquifier just barely. But also, at the same time... We do kind of need to eco a little bit harder. Oh, oh god. Oh no. Okay. Wait. Wait, 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 no way. Oh my god. Oh my, we just freaking shredded through that. We shredded through that, boys. And you're gonna have to pay the ultimate price by now us sending you a regen rainbow rush and that's gonna be a GG. Oh my god, I didn't think we have enough money in order to send it that food like a fire. Oh my goodness, man. This man just got clapped by the meme team, dream team. Drop a like for that because that was actually <laughs> so freaking nuts, man, all right? GG's only. I will catch y'all in the next one. No way, boys. We got the map Marsh once again. Please, John, we're just gonna call him John. Do not, do not skip it. Don't. Mm. Oh, he skipped it, no! John, I will never forgive you. I choke Micro, he's gonna be our next opponent. Unfortunately, dude, we can't pass up on this opportunity because Park is a pretty good mapper, right? I just wanted Marsh again. Uh, that honestly is like the best map for like these meme like game strategies, dude. It works out so well, right? But I think we can make this work out once again, all right? So let's see what we get as our fourth, the sub. Probably won't be using, but let's get it. Once again, our first popping power tower is in fact going to be the ice, and it looks like I choke micro. It's gonna end up starting out with the engineer as his first popping power tower. Okay, so I wouldn't think then he's going with eco because like what eco strategy is gonna have the uh NG, you know? But yeah, so far no eco from the young man. He ended up actually upgrading also to a nine inch nails and then a cobra. Two cobras at that. Oh god. Oh god, okay, so. We don't like to see the Cobra, man. That That's going to kind of be hard. I'm not going to lie, all right? We still have a chance, though. We've got a freaking chance for coming off a huge dub as well. So, dude, anything is freaking possible, man. Anything is possible. Um, but, dude, I'm going to be expecting some aggression on round four with some space pinks. If he does send those, uh, what should we do, man? What should we do? Go for a glue or a spike factory? On, oh, no, wait, we don't have a spike factory. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stupid, man. I literally thought for a second we did. We do not. So I probably should just go for a glue like right now, right? Yeah, I, I should. Okay, so we're going to be doing that. All right, just setting that to strong. So it slows down uh, these balloons for our ice tower. All right, I'll get up the corrosive glue as well, just so we can have a little bit of popping power, I guess. And Nitro Micro is just going for more and freaking more Cobras. I wouldn't be surprised if he starts balloon adjusting us because... As of right now, we don't have any sort of camera detection, so yeah, that would be very, very awkward, but somehow, man, I don't know how, we have got 414 eco. Dude, my glue is in a bad position or something, man. It keeps on missing those balloons, so we're going to slowly but surely leak down, but it could be worse, I guess, 100%. I could also go for the glue splatter eventually. Dude, look at his side. Holy crap, man, he had to go for another engineer. There's a lot of freaking greens, and somehow, we already have 500 eco. Uh, it's just the start of round 7. What's going on? What the heck is going on here, okay? We're probably going to stop here, though, at 536 eco, because that is more than enough for a strategy like this, okay? So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do, and he might be aggressive here on round 8, because he's probably not happy about all of what we just sent him, okay? But I was just ecoing, man. That's, that's straight up all I was doing, dude. Glue position is bothering me, man. It looks like it should be better. Like, it, like, why? Why is it hitting the balloons behind it, man? That is actually triggering. But I guess we're going to go for a village, okay? There we go for that. I'm also going to be going for the monkey fort. And, like, I might straight up sell this to replace it, man. Because it, it is really bothering me. So, I'm going to get, like, in the middle. How about that? Because, like, I didn't want it on this side. Because I'd rather the glue glue the balloons that he sends us, you know? If that makes any sort of sense. Oh, my God. These regen balloons, bro. They hurt freaking hurt man all right but i'm gonna attack that one more time just so we're able to fully defend against all of that and uh i guess we're gonna wait and see what happens here all right uh i should go for a balloon dissolver yeah i'm gonna do that okay it's gonna help us out a little bit more when it comes to these like regens and whatnot and the ai we're so at 84 lives okay so it could be worse 
and we should just barely have enough money in order to afford this radar scanner if we need it all right i'm not upgrading unless we absolutely freaking literally need it and uh we won't have enough though for the blue and the fire right that's fifty four hundred dollars so so just don't send us a rush that, that would be greatly appreciated all right but we're just gonna leave that camo green because why not why not and oh okay here come some camo balloons so i had to, i kind of had to do that kind of had to do that it sucks man oh my god i'm still leaking to these regens guys this is not good this is not freaking good like i think the left side of the glue is gonna be better oh my god man this is gonna be hard to win boys i'm not gonna lie because like what are we gonna do now what are we going to do now i was expecting aggression from him dude we're leaking so many lives i'm probably gonna have to go for a blue like a fire honestly so might as do that it's such an expensive upgrade though that's the thing that's the freaking thing and then round 16 ai is about to come as well so yeah i most likely need to do that or i could be aggressive towards him but he's probably gonna start balloon adjusting me here soon most cobra players start around now uh we're actually gonna save up every dollar we got just so we have just enough money in order to afford this balloon look of fire because i think we need it man oh my god he's sending me balloons now oh god i'm probably gonna have to put this on strong then so yeah i'm gonna do that oh god boys this is not good this is not freaking good okay i think though we're gonna be able to defend against all of this just barely oh my god this is so scary because like he's space decoying as well so the strongest balloon is that rainbow they sent to me and then there was also zebras but yeah we ended up defending if you did not realize how op the balloon lick fire is hopefully now you do because it it's popping power is insane man literally freaking nuts but we might be in fact screwed here okay because like how are we gonna pop down this mod how literally how i don't know so oh he's also starting to balloon just us okay so yeah we've got to be aggressive towards him here 100 percent. i was kind of expecting him to send us a mob as well but i was gonna send les behind this honestly with this balloon look of fire we should be able to defend against all this like for sure so if worse comes to worse oh, i'm gonna balloon boost this and he tower boosted as well and it looks like that's death please be death oh my god he's so close to death He's literally so close. He's down to seven. We're still gonna be able to defend against that Moab. And I took micro dice. No freaking way, boys, okay? Ended up getting another dub. <laughs> this strategy, it should not work, man, okay? So, wow, I'm actually really surprised that we got the dub there, okay? GG's only. I will catch y'all in the next one. I mean, guys, <laughs> we can't play on indoor pools in Black Hammer for whatever reason is not skipping it. Screw you, man. Nate Full. It's gonna be our next one, okay? This this one looks like it's gonna be hard to win. I'm not gonna lie, right? But we still got a chance. Water Resorts, boys! Oh god, this can work, man. This could 100% work. Can we get the Dream Team one more time, please? Pretty please with the cherry on top, BTD Gots? Come on. No? Okay. Guys, we gotta take this in once again. We have two wins with this. Uh, two out of two wins with this strategy. How? How? This strategy in no way, shape, or form should work. That's actually so freaking nuts, man. Oh my god, we got another Cobra player. Bruh. And this guy, though, it looks like he knows how, what he's doing a lot better than the last guy. No offense to the last guy, but like, yeah, he looks pretty freaking good. So if we win this one, now nah, that's gonna be crazy, all right? But you guys already know, right? Start of round two, okay? We're gonna be sending the young man constant freaking reds. And uh, he should be also sending me reds. What is that tax spot? Oh my god. Wait, he might have just wanted it towards the front of the map so that he could anti-stall. That's my guess, at least. Um, so, yeah, that's probably what it is, all right? But he's going to have to upgrade to a 2-3. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. And uh, I'm going to be going for a glue just right now. Why not? Because this glue, once again, will be helping us uh, with stalling some of these balloons for our ice tower, right? And he's finally equaling at us. He never upgraded to a 2-3. Wow, that's actually kind of insane. That's actually really, really insane. Okay, so I'm going to go for the corrosive glue. Also, possibly even more than that because he's equaling quite hard at us now. And yeah, he's got that uh, two or three tax drop. So yeah, he should be pretty good against all this. I'm gonna set this bad boy, by the way, too strong. And we're just gonna eco as hard as we freaking can, all right? Oh, dude, maybe we want him on first, actually. Yeah, okay, we do. As of right now, we do because some of the balloons are getting passed and the glue is missing that, all right? So rather have that on first so that we don't leak as many lives. I'm also gonna go for the uh glue splatter as well okay because yeah we're kind of leaking more consistently now and dude the texture for him it's just so good it's so good during the early game rounds oh no okay you only sent us a few sets of space pinks i got nervous right there but we're gonna end up being all freaking good against that and honestly i think 
we should still be good against all these greens and whatnot. We're not able to send enough greens on his side, by the way, to force like any sort of upgrades or just like cause damage because his texture just goes in way too much. And he's got those Cobras probably set the strong, so sending him space blacks probably would not work too effectively either. So I'm just not going to be doing that. We'll stop here though at 503 eco. Not the greatest amount, but also really not bad for a strategy like this. Okay, so we'll play this safe here. If he sends the space region whites, yeah, we're going to struggle, man. We're definitely going to struggle. So hopefully he just does not do that, all right? But I do want to go for this villager case. Okay? So we're going to be doing that right now, right about here, I guess. We do want to upgrade to the monkey fort to increase the piercing. There we freaking go. And now we got to save up all of our money for these mid-game rounds, all right? We're going to send him also to a round 10 lead for sure because currently he has no lead defenses. And dude, oh my God, these, these regens, man, they get me scared. They do get me scared, bro. Um, but hopefully we'll be fine, okay? I'm just gonna end up attacking them most likely. Yeah, I'll put down one more attack. There's gonna be a few more. Se he's also going with the village? No way. Oh, and he's, he's using his fourth. He's using his fourth, boys. Okay, the village is probably his fourth. I'm guessing it has to be, right? It, it just has to be. Wow. That is actually freaking nuts, man, okay? But... We probably should go for a balloon dissolver. Yeah, I should have done that immediately, all right? But that's fine, okay? We're going to slowly but surely leak to this AI balloons. <laughs> There's so many flaws within this strategy, man. It's actually insane, okay? Currently, we have no camo defenses, okay? I'm just going to leak this camo balloon um, because I'm not upgrading to this radar scanner unless he forces that upgrade on our side, all right? Because if worse comes to worse, I do want to have enough money to maybe upgrade to this balloon look fire just like in the last game, all right? Because I, I guess that's just going to be the goal for us, all right? And, oh, here he comes at us with some whites, bro. Maybe I'm going to go for nice shards then. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be enough. No, we're freaking dead to this, man. We are dead. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it, okay? So I went for the ice shards. I know the ice shards cannot pop whites, boys. But if there are other balloons within the radius of the ice shards that aren't white balloons, then they can technically pop white balloons. But, yeah, right there, it did not go so well. We didn't have enough money to go for a balloon liquid fire either, okay? So we didn't have too many options right there. But still, that was a good video, okay? I am not mad. GG's only. In the last question I asked y'all in the last video was, what was the tower that we got within every randomized strategy that we randomized into in the last video, right? And the answer is the tax shooter, right? So this guy won. Congratulations, man. And the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, what is the dream team meme team, all right? Make sure to leave your answers down below in the comment section, and you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys enjoy. Once again, it's been your Wolvotrix, or Justin. Peace out, everybody.